We are at Thermal Cork Show. We're working on a new project in town. We're working on Alpine Village, which the complex has been around since the 60s. And so we were contacted and we started in June. We're doing a major renovation here. There are 27 buildings, 239 units, and it'll be probably be a four-year project. It's a big complex. It's seven acres of land. So it's probably the biggest townhouse complex in Prince George. So it's pretty exciting. We're pretty happy. We got two colors. We've got what we call gunmetal, and a, it's a new color we come up with called cool mint. It's an off green, thus Alpine Village. Cork will fade less than 1% a year. Paint will fade 6 to 10% in the first few years of application. So the product and the color we put on today will be probably the same color within 15 years, and we give a 15 year warranty because of that. The benefits are cost. The buildings right now have cedar and stucco on them. A lot of the cedar on here is quite old. We've had to remove rot. We've had to replace some roofs already. To tear off all that cedar and replace it would have been an exorbitant amount of money. Thermal Cork Shield is a fire retardant product. Will not burn, won't smoke, won't propagate flame. It's also water resistant, so it'll protect the cedar. And they'll also get a thermal barrier and an acoustic insulator. So it's about 47% acoustic insulation. So it'll deaden road noise and some of the noise outside. It won't be perfect, but it will definitely help. I got a contacted from my main distributor, one of his applicators in northern Saskatchewan where they have lots of oil wells. For years they've been wrapping the pipe with insulation and they tape it to try and protect this pipe and they've always been having trouble with roads. The mice get in there and destroy all the work they've done. So they spray the cork on the same buildings, the same pipe, everything. Not an issue. Mice don't like cork, don't go near it. They haven't had any issues at all. So the cork actually has become a more cost-effective way of repairing these pipes. The other thing that we've learned, last year we did the Prince George Golf and Curling Club. Prince George Golf and Curling Club had one wall that woodpeckers were poking holes under the cedar. This year, the birds came back for mating in the spring. They flew around the building for a couple of days and left. They have not been there, they haven't put a hole in it, nothing's happened. That's pretty exciting because I know there's a lot of buildings that have problems with these birds. So I think that's a huge tidbit about cork that we didn't know, but we had suspicions that it might work. It's exciting to see the improvement and that tenants are happy, the owners are happy, they're excited to see it, they, they feel like their building looks brand new and it's going to look like that forever as far as I'm concerned. And it's nice to see the improvement coming on in this downtown area here. It's important. If you look around this neighborhood now, there's all kinds of upgrading and all the different buildings around here. So they're just part of that upgrading.